Ted, yeah. tell us a little bit about um, Yamaha and how they've changed the piano industry. Yeah, uh, I'll try to do this succinctly because I can spend an hour on it, but let's go through with uh, maybe about a, a, a two or three minute thing. Uh, Yamaha came in to the country in the mid 70s. And prior to that, uh, all that was available in the United States were pianos, of course, made in America. And when Yamaha came in, they came in with a product with such precision that it pretty much changed the way that pianos were uh, uh, expected as far as quality. Uh, what that means is the Japanese and, of course, Yamaha uh, made pianos with such precision that they could actually come into the dealer's showroom floor, like right here, take it out of the box and go directly to the consumer. Okay? Prior to that, the American pianos, which were handmade, the Yamaha is, is a production piano. It's still a lot of hand work with the action, uh, the regulation, things like that. But predominantly, uh, uh, the American pianos did not have the, uh, uh, the, the tolerance tightness that the Japanese did. And because of that, I mean, we even expected the American uh, piano retailer to prepare the piano uh, for a delivery to the consumer. You know, it was part of the, uh, of, of the way that the marketing channel went. But with the introduction of the Yamaha pianos into the United States uh, uh, market, uh, that changed totally. And then Yamaha set the new level as far as what piano quality really could be. And uh, consequently, we saw a lot of American-based piano manufacturers go out of business. So Yamaha is a great piano, and of course, it's used by some of the top artists uh, in the world, you know, from Billy Joel to uh, Paul McCartney to Nora Jones. Uh, we've got pictures of them up on the wall, you know, uh, Alicia Keys, uh, Jim Rickman, um, and, and really, uh, I could say dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds more. So, uh, very good brand and uh, very good discounts right now. Thanks, Ted. Yep.